So this is going to be an interesting video because when I bought the GoPro Hero 9 there was no uh, screen protector for it and no front screen protector for it available and I had to botch up something from an old tablet screen protector but it looks horrible and this was made for a kind of resistive uh, screen type so now you need to press really hard although the GoPro Hero 9 now screen works really good after the last update so that was sold but this uh, protection screen here uh, doesn't do it justice so I've got uh, this kit and this was actually the first kit available for the Hero 9 that was available on Amazon from uh, Dayard uh, and this should uh, fit the Hero 9 uh, I have used something similar with the Hero 8 with great success and it kept my lens in a good shape although on the Hero 9 you can now replace the lens uh, you can still protect the original one as it's also money if you crack it and replace it and this is going to probably one, uh, be one of kind of frustrating videos because I never have enough patience uh, and that's mostly because lack of time and I don't like to fiddle with fine things and you know how hard it is sometimes to put a protection screen onto your phone or action camera and I'm going to try to do that in a video and see how it goes so in the kit you are going to get actually two kits uh, it's a full kit for the camera uh, one I'm going to save for later hopefully I'm going to be able to uh, resolve the problem with just one kit uh, you get here a card that they thank you for buying from them and you get some instruction manual and this is actually pretty good because it shows you the steps that you need to follow so you need to clean the screen thoroughly with this dry cloth then from this small satchel here which I'm going to open you are going to get several other things and it gets really interesting so you get another microfiber cloth here and then you get the screens here and there is another thing here and this is a dust absorber and these are some kind of glue pads that you can touch the screen and remove the dust particles from it and you get this wipes wet and dry all right so i'm going to start by peeling my invention here the old uh, screen protectors and finally i've managed to take this off all right so now i'm going to start to clean this with the dry cloth very well and it starts to look good and shiny but probably you are not going to see on the camera there are some fine particles around the screen I'm going to also clean the front screen really well and the lens I'm going to also protect the original lens because it's not scratched yet so why not protect it I do have a replacement one All right and now I'm going to use the uh, wet wipe so this will remove not only dust particles but also dissolve uh, uh, grease and fingerprints and other things that are on your screen alright so I'm going to start with the rear screen I think I'm going to do it in sections so I'm going to first solve the rear screen so now this is clean I'm going to save this up a bit and now I'm going to use the dry cleaning this is kind of a paper and I'm going to wipe that again very well and yes I have some particles on there and for that I'm going to use this uh, dust absorber so 
So you are going to do something like that. So this doesn't leave a trace on the screen, theoretically, but it removes the dust particles that can interfere with your uh, work here. And if I look closely now, I don't think I have any kind of particles left. All right. And now I'm going to take this screen and also this one has a label here that you need to follow so this sticker helps to remove the mask from the screen guard and because it has number one this is the first to remove and this is where the glue for the screen is so I'm going to remove that gently and now I'm going to try to place it as best as possible and as centered as possible over my camera here and hope for the best something like that uh, almost and I'm going to tap it in the middle and look at that almost did all the magic by itself I do have some air left here as they say to use something uh, like a plastic card which is not provided so I have to provide my own so I'm going to use a plastic card credit card something like that should work and now you need to gently push this to one direction in the same direction you lift and then press and try to squeeze out the um, air that is in here and you keep doing that until there is no more left and uh, that did it very well and I don't have any kind of air leak or air bubbles or dust particles I do have a small visible thing here from where the bubble was taken out but this should not be visible when the camera is on uh, I do like a thing very much about this uh, protection screen is that it has a kind of uh, I don't know if it's going to be visible on a camera it has rounded edges uh, and that's a uh, first time for me so it's very smooth around the edge and it will not actually lift off with uh, uh, when you rub this on another thing uh, so this should protect it from accidentally being taken off so that's a very good thing and it also fits very well around the corners so this is really good uh, it was not so good on my Hero 8 but that was not this brand so uh, this one has really good quality and now we have to do the same for this and this one and I'm going to start with the LCD screen here front LCD so I'm going to use the dry microfiber cloth and clean it very well and as you can see here there are a lot of dust particles and now I'm going to use the uh, wet wipe because it's still wet all right and now with the dry wipe it's starting to look a lot more better than it was but there are still some dust particles and now I'm going to use the dust absorber here and it now looks shiny and clean so I'm going to use the screen protector let's see which is the one so I think it's this one should be slightly bigger or they are the same nope this one is the slightly bigger one so I'm going to remove the number one foil here and I'm going to keep it by the sides not to touch the screen uh, the glue and there's another dust particle there luckily with the 
dust absorber and now I'm going to try to fit this something like that should be okay uh, it's a bit to one side it's a bit rotated but that should do it and you can see here this corner and this corner are not actually equal but there's no air bubble and the screen is now protected from scratching and looks very good the quality is the same it has the rounded edge and that's amazing work uh, very good quality I'm impressed about that and now the main lens so clean it with the dry cloth looks clean already and now I'm going to use the wet cloth and now the dry cloth this removes uh, uh, mostly um, grease uh, and fingerprints from the lens but uh, this type of paper that uh, removes the uh, wet thing from that napkin also leaves kind of uh, array of dust particles so the dust absorber here it's the best to have and this thing really is sticky uh, it's interesting that it's uh, not so sticky on the rear screen but on the front and front screen and the lens it's very sticky and there's no dust particle there and now I can put the screen protector so yet again number one here and that side goes directly on the lens alright and I'm going to tap it in the middle and to one side and it is perfect it could have been a bit more to this side but it's not sitting over the edge here so it's not drawing air underneath no air bubbles no signs no visible signs so this is perfectly seated on the lens and now the original lens is also protected to scratches and cracks so that was it uh, as you can see it wasn't that hard and even though I don't have patience for this kind of things with this kit you can do this rather easy and your Hero 9 is now truly protected from scratches so until my next video see you and bye bye